Hi, my name is DJ Kobe and you are welcome. It's been a while and finally we are back and we have a lot of a lot of things to learn. So right ahead, um, this D Virtual DJ 2020, I um, previously was using Virtual DJ 8 and then I think there are a lot of changes that has come. So the purpose of this tutorial has to do with what is new um, features and yes, changes in the interface right so first of all we'll take a look at the previous interface that is virtual dj8 the interesting thing about virtual dj2020 has to do with you can actually you know go back to you can actually use the old interface yeah so this is our virtual dj8 interface i think we can have a very close look at, the, at it um before we actually head into the 2020 version all right so let's look at virtual dj 2020 first of all let's start from here let's let me choose the default skin so let first of all let's start from the configuration page or the settings page now we can see that we have tutorials now this one if your internet connection is strong you will have a number of tutorials listed here so you know so you can actually learn a whole lot of stuff from here we have getting started we have the first your first mix doing your first mix you have the browser harmonic mixing a whole lot of a whole lot of tutorials there you can actually use the view more too but that is if you have internet connection right and then we have extensions now if you realize that those of us who normally download stuff from the virtual dj official website you can realize that when you are downloading down they tell you to go to the virtual dj software and then do the download so we can we have a lot of now all the downloads can be made in the app so we have scans we have effects samples parts and other stuff a whole lot of stuff for you to you know choose from yeah this was actually already in the virtual dj 8 version but in the subsequent tutorials we are actually going to deal with how to use your um your phone your android phone or your tablet with your virtual dj software right so now that we've done with the settings page let's head into our virtual dj interface so we'll start right from here the name here actually has to do with who the software is licensed to and then your license version we have the layout now we are going to take a close look at the layout now the layout we have SADA there's essentials we have the pro and then we have performance we'll look at all that's in the other tutorials I always go with the pro we have color scheme we can choose from defaults that is this is the default we have contrast there is the dark mode which i always prefer and then the daylights Woof! that's a lot of light here but the daylights interface actually help you when you have a gig and you are playing an, in an open place where there is a lot of light you realize that sometimes there are certain things are very difficult for you to see when there's a lot of sunlight so if you use the daylight mode is actually going to help you you know have your way through your virtual DJ software but hey if you know your software better you know how to find your way around it yeah so the waveform display the mirror we have rhythm enhanced there's full spectrum I normally go with the mirrored so let's look at let me load the song and then we'll look at the difference so we have two here so what's the mirror does is so as you can see you know it just mirrors the waves just as like it has one side of it and a reflection is at the bottom but interestingly you can also choose to use a full spectrum so the full spectrum actually separated it is still mirrored but it separates it you know for the mirrored rhythm it's placed one above the other whilst the, the full spectrum you know separates the two there is also rhythm enhanced you know that's this one and then um 
so you can also choose to have it here or in between the browser and then the deck and then the mixer so let's see what happens here you get it yeah you have the job wheel display you can realize that you know my job wheel actually looks a bit different from what we normally have what we normally have is this one the needle okay yes but you can choose to have text and then oh then but there's too much yeah so and there's a bit counter where you can actually show the beat counter in the wave form um yeah we can also select the same thing here we can disable it from here so there are two places to actually select it and then what happens is we have uh, phrase bars and then phrase circle this is it this is the phrase circle these are the phrase circle and then the phrase bars so i can choose to have just the phrase bars or i can choose to have just the phrase put the phrase bars and then the phrase circle and i can also choose to have it on the waveform that is the beat counter or the bar counter so it has the bar counter actually help it will help you know especially for starters to work on their beat counting their timing and then all that yeah right so we move straight here here has to do here is the master output it tells you how much sound you are putting out there so so if you are hitting red you could actually see that now you have too much sound um, coming out there and then all that we also have cpu usage you know this is a bit technical and we have the time we can choose to have system time and when you when you actually hover on it it tells you you know the dates and then time as well and you know it tells you for how long you've used you've used virtual DJ. So is it uh, currently it's running for eight minutes and then counting. You can also choose to have a timer instead. That is where you want to time yourself for your gig. You know, you have a gig and you are supposed to play for an hour, two hours. You switch merely you start you switch to the timer and then you know there you go. So there is also the event scheduler where there are a lot of interesting things to learn from here we would actually go through it um, in subsequent tutorials but uh, here's just a sneak peek you can choose to play a file play a sample display text message display slash show executor scripts and you know interesting stuff yeah to be learned here we would we would work on that in subsequent tutorials and then we have the settings button that we've actually taken a look at it already um you can see other skins here these are skins that i downloaded from um here okay all right and then we come to the decks so on the decks you know we have the effects that is the effects that we have you can choose to choose how you want it to look okay so fx Either you you have one or you have three um, options to select. We have the parts where you can also switch to you know hot cues. Just by button by a button click, you know you can choose whichever parts. You know. So you can choose to have this, and then have that. So that's that's about it. We also same applies here and then uh there's one thing i want us to uh, sorry i have to change my to, um, sorry, above and then uh, just text here yeah. yes and there's one interesting thing that i want us to look at you realize that in virtual dj 8 there's there's no load button but um, 2020 actually has the load and then unload button so you press on it 
it loads song you press again it unloads it and then load now I want to show you something interesting here if I load a song you realize that the stop button here changes to this let's do that again see it's we have stop um, I can just drag and drop or I can just it changes too so this is a clone that is if you don't have a song here this changes to a clone button All right so if um, assuming I'm playing a, the song from this deck immediately I hit clone it clones the song so that's about it so this is the pause or stop button when you double click it stops the song right to the beginning when you single click it pauses at the current um, play position All right and then let's look, take a look at this one you see there is a drop down arrow here which wasn't present in the previous um, version here is the FX knob I call it the FX knob or the effect knob now a 50% value is off okay so the farther it is from it and then the stronger the effect is so you can from here you can actually choose from a variety of effects the default effect is the filter you can choose to have a cold distortion and then all that so um that's basically about the um, virtual dj 2020 would delve deeper into these features and then what's new and other stuff that we can actually do so the purpose of this tutorial was actually to just give you an overview of what is new in the virtual dj 2020 um i think yes one thing i left out was the sandbox so the sandbox actually lets you do stuff on the song without it affecting the main output so let's say i'm playing the song when i click the sandbox it allows me to do stuff on the song without you know so i can actually stop it and still have my master output playing i can delete cue points i can add cue point and then and then all that right so immediately i click it yeah so that's about it on the sandbox option i think we'll have to do we'll do more on on the sandbox a bit but that's about it we have also the um slide out the waveform adjuster here where we can adjust the speed at which our waveform displays so so i think this is okay right so that's that's basically about about it in what's new in virtual dj 2020 so yes i will let's just stay glued just hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to the channel turn on the notifications and then yes we would have a good time here all right the name is dj kobe thanks for watching see you next time